we thank you right now for the love that you have shown us. Where you said together we stand, divided we fall. And we know without you, God, we can't do these things. But once again, in Mobile County and in the city of Mobile, Alabama, you have helped us to show the love to all nations. No justice. No, no peace. peace. No justice. No, no peace. peace. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out this afternoon for this peaceful rally. You know, we have to follow the steps like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We have to follow in a peaceful manner. I want to say this, that I know we are here because of the Ferguson case, but the thing about it is we are here for everyone. No matter if you're black, yellow, white, or blue, yes. we are all precious under God's sight. No justice. I also want to say that every policeman is not a bad policeman. Every policeman is not a bad come on, policeman. Come on, see. Just as well that you have someone that's bad in your family, the police department do also have people that's bad in their family. Yeah. Because just because there is one rotten apple in the bunch, you do not classify everybody as the same way. Amen. One thing else I would Amen. like to say is that the city council is doing all they can do to work with the administration to make sure that our officers are equipped with body cameras. Yes. 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 If the police officers in Ferguson had body cameras, there would be no rallies going across the United States today. Right, right now, we only have one part of the story. And that's that officer story. Yes. But we do not have the business side of the story. Yes. But if, we, if Ferguson had those body cameras, the victim, even though he's at rest, his side of the story would have been told. So that's why the city council is now working with the administration to put forth to, for the officers to have body cameras. Someone was talking about how much the body cameras cost. A life is worth more than just a million dollars. <laughs>